So there's a beautiful thing that happens um, at the end of a DARPA tenure uh, where there is a going away. It consists of a formal citation, um, some, some good-natured roasting, and a speech by the program manager um, giving some perspective on their time at DARPA. It's, it's one of my favorite things um, that, that happens here. Uh, but it's something that's very exclusive uh, in terms of it's not something that everybody on the outside gets to see. Um, it's usually a, a sort of a self-contained thing that happens to, uh, for folks in the building. Uh, but since I'm a short timer, um, we thought it'd be interesting to give you a bit of insight um, into what this looks like. Uh, so I'm Ben Griffin. I'm the acting deputy director of the Microsystems Technology Office here at DARPA. Uh, before being in this role, I was a program manager um, uh, for five years. So I'm now in my sixth year and I'm wrapping up my, uh, my time for this, uh, this time at DARPA. Um, so I can only speak to my own experiences. So this is how it went for me. Um, it was 2018 uh, when I arrived at DARPA and I quickly felt the challenges of being a program manager. Uh, was surrounded by the folks at DARPA that are the luminaries of the country. Uh, in their respective fields, um, so imposter syndrome was only natural. Uh, I also uh, needed to catch up with the culture of DARPA and found that difficult. Uh, my colleagues seemed to have unique definitions for everyday words like problem, approach, and technical challenge. Um, one of the most difficult things was something that I thought I really had understood, but turns out I completely misunderstood was, was the Hellmeyer Catechisms. Um, and it really turns out that those simple questions can spur on debates as to their meanings and different perspectives on technical technology creation and arguments that could last a lifetime. Um, in the meantime, as I'm trying to come up to speed, there was constant travel. I had status on four airlines uh, after my first year here. Uh, there was the pressure to change the world immediately while also delivering technology direct to the warfighter. Um, and within DARPA, when we're being disrupt disruptive, uh, change is constant. If, if you were happy, wait. If you weren't happy, just wait. Um, not to mention the fact that I had just moved my family of six across the country uh, to live in a comparatively smaller home whose rent was more than my first, first two mortgages combined. Um, and then of course, and I, I hope this isn't too insensitive to say, um, but during this time, the country hit pause at the start of the pandemic, and that actually gave me an opportunity uh, to, to catch my breath and to really catch up. Um, and then, of course, as my time here progressed, about the time I thought I had this figure, place figured out, it, it changed. Or, as is happening now, they're kicking me out. So it really begs the question, why come to DARPA? And, and there are a bunch of reasons. Um, first is this is your chance to change the world. It's a chance to put your fingers in the water and to see the ripples as they flow out. Uh, this is a place where you can take a chance on really um, taking a risk that you have this key evidence uh, that there is something worth doing that could really impact our warfighters and national security and allow us to outpace our adversaries. Uh, this is a place where you can take a chance um, and really be there at those key moments to deliver on a technology uh, that makes a difference and disrupts the path of humanity. And, and these are all good reasons. Um, and, and there are very common reasons that we, we give to folks um, as we're having conversations about uh, potentially coming to DARPA, but they aren't necessarily my favorites. My favorites are the personal ones. Uh, that every PM that's here and it comes here um, has had about service. And sometimes these stories are about um, them coming to this country um, or maybe the connection to a loved one that, that served or is serving. And, it, and if I talk much more about uh, these personal stories or the impact on the warfighters, uh, um, I will choke up. Um, but I hope you understand how important that is and, and how much uh, that influences each of us uh, here at DARPA and, and this mission that we're on. Uh, it also brings me to another important reason to come to DARPA, um, and that is our mission here is to prevent technical surprise 
Um, and as a result of that, each day has to be full. Um, and so in, in his uh, speech, a cancer-riddled uh, coach, Jim Balvano, uh, once said that the definition of a full day is one in which uh, you laugh, you think, and cry. And, and at DARPA, this is totally true. Um, so here, it's, it's easy to laugh. You have to sometimes at uh, the crazy ideas that are bandied about uh, during creative, creative moments. Um, and of course, we spend a tremendous amount of time and thought when we're trying to decide, is this a problem worth solving? But crying at DARPA? Really? Um, I can tell you that for a long time, at least once a week, I could be caught walking up the stairs uh, with tears in my eyes. Uh, because I knew what we were getting ready to do um, that day here. And, and one of my favorite moments at DARPA uh, was seeing a performer who had just gotten this initial breakthrough at a field test um, and, and seeing them tear up at this initial success. Of, of course, they also sang, uh, show me the money as we walked away from the test site. Um, so maybe we'll add singing to Coach Valvano's criteria for a full day. It, in addition, you know, if we think about the impact that we're trying to have um, here as DARPA program managers, there's this other thing, which is the, the influence that DARPA will have on you and the ways that will change you in, uh, in, in ways that you really can't anticipate. Uh, when a program manager um, sells their first idea, it's like the lights come on um, and they see the matrix behind uh, technology creation. Um, certainly, uh, for folks that have been here, it'll provide you interesting and new career opportunities, um, but it really changes the way you see uh, technology creation and risk. And I'll say that even my parenting has been affected as I have found myself asking my teenagers, what, what problem are we really here trying to solve? So as I leave the agency, uh, it has opened doors and given me opportunities I couldn't have dreamt of. Um, and in my next adventure, one of my missions will be to use this unique perspective I have gained here and to give it away whenever possible. Um, so finally, during my time here at DARPA, I hope the things that we, uh, the leadership, the program managers, the performers, and the warfighters did together uh, uh, made a difference in the world because I know that certainly it changed uh, uh, me through the experience and I, I will never see the world uh, the same. But now, this is uh, someone else's turn uh, to ch change the world. So I have to ask you, do you have a good idea? <laughs>